Is the number. Good morning. Who's this? Yeah, this is Scott. Scott, what's on your mind? Well, two things. I like that guy I had on earlier, uh, but the problem is with the third of the people getting money out of this government, I, I don't see any hope. It's probably even more than that. It doesn't take everyone. Well, yeah, that's famous last words, but look at this borough where, what, two-thirds of the people now are on the government dole? Yep. And... Uh, it's either welfare or, or somebody gets a paycheck out of the government. I don't consider them workers. So, famous last words: ten percent of the population is all that supported the American Revolution, and three, well, I think it was three more percent. like thirty percent for, thirty percent against, and thirty percent didn't give get care one way or the other. Three percent is all that fought in it. Well, that's all, almost all wars. Uh, and Patrick Henry gave his speech two years into the war when the Continental Congress still wouldn't support the war. Well, let me make one more point on this uh, petition these these people, these whoever they were, got for the wood stoves. i never seen any in, anywhere in town or in, anywhere in this borough. They must get them all at that stinking university or something like that, which you could do easily. I, I think, how many times do we got to vote on everything to tell the, this Hopkins and Whitaker no? Well, I guess as many times as it takes. And, and if you, it, this is, again, one of the problems. It's like what we were talking about earlier, that... We get fatigued over the voting because we keep voting and we keep voting bums out and we keep saying no and we keep having our will thwarted. And yet, if we give up and we just say, ah, forget about it. Look at, look at that, San Francisco years ago with them weirdos, what they pulled down there and ruined that city. When they wanted to pass some kind of tax for that stadium or whatever it is, they voted six times no and then finally said we're going to do it anyway. Well, you uh, don't got to worry about that here because Luke listens. Uh, yeah, okay. you bet he does. <laughs> He's got his three government checks. He couldn't care less about anybody else here. Well, I, I, actually, I think you're wrong. I think he could care less if he tried. It wouldn't take much, though. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate the phone All call, right. brother. 458 talk is the number. Good morning. Who's this? Here. Hey, who is this? It's Carl. Carl, what's on your mind? Well, I was informed that all my neighbors hate me. <laughs> so I'm really... Uh, Embarrassed to go ask them for like water so I can bathe or anything like that. So, uh, any other kind of help that I can get because uh, I'm trying to live off the grid now. So, I mean, I don't have any water. Anyway, uh, my phone number is 460 1316. If anyone has a, you know, need to, to spread the wealth or anything like that. <laughs> Uh, why didn't you just go apply for government assistance, Carl? Um, I did because my foot was busted, and it's been like I've been to sales for like ten years, and uh, they they said spend all your money, and then we'll help you. So I did, and then they're like, oh, your electricity is gonna get cut off. Just give us your disconnect bill, and we'll take care of everything. And then, then of course, we do all that, and they're like, well, no. We can't help you. <laughs> have you okay? Here, let me take another tack. Have you tried helping yourself? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm doing. I, I got rental properties, and um, you know. So why don't you sell rent. them and share the wealth? I know, and then I can live in the homeless shelter, which is a total tax write-off. A lot. Of, Fairfax is the best tax haven in the world. You want to like. Keep your money, just form a nonprofit organization and help your friends. All right. Thanks, Carl. I'll keep that in mind. All right. 458 talk, and the number is the, if you want to sound off this morning on Patriots Lament. we got about seven minutes left in the show, is all. It's amazing how fast it goes when we start getting phone calls coming in. Uh, there was another issue in the news this week that I wanted to mention and kind of get your, uh, your take on today, and that is this issue of the green jobs nationally. Did you hear about that, Aaron? They're, they're saying now that more Americans are working the so-called green jobs than are working in the oil and gas sector. And they're, they're saying, well, this is proof that this is going to help sustain the economy. Yeah, they're probably basing that a lot on, um, like, um, all the projects I do are all lead projects, which are considered green jobs. And if they're basing it on that, I mean, that's kind of convoluted. And just because the government mandates... Um, projects comply with the lead doesn't make them green jobs well part of this here today is that they're saying that for instance the 
Part of it has to do with the legislation about light bulbs that's been written. And so because they have to go in there and replace light bulbs, they're counting that as green jobs? Right, at a huge cost of money. It's not saving money. Mm -hmm. It's not helping the economy. Well, there's another issue, too, is that whenever you have any portion of the economy that is being directed by or sustained by government, what it's doing, I mean, you look at look at the space program for a great example. Space shuttle just ended, uh, and what is it now today, uh, two days after the space shuttle landed, they're talking about, oh, massive layoffs down there in, in Florida. There's all these hundreds of people out of jobs, and whatever are they going to do? Well, why did they have those jobs in the first place? So we could go to somewhere like the moon. Well, it's okay. The government creating jobs out of thin air and paying people to do something that they wouldn't be doing on their own, that the private sector is not paying for, it sets us up for a worse failure later on. And and I don't know. It just it seems like I, I look at somebody like Carl who is calling and saying, hey, man, I need help. Uh, and yet he has rental properties. Well, Obviously, and no offense, Carl, but you're not managing your properties well. <laughs> if 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 you're not if you're not being able to sustain yourself off of your own resources and out of and and I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. What do you think, Karen? I think that we only have a few minutes left, and I'd like to play the founders one more time because I'd rather listen to what they had to say than to myself. <laughs> Well, right? Yeah, I can do that. Hey, it's your show, brother. I can do what you want to do. That's not a problem at all. All right. Let's see if we can't get this to figure out here. Yeah, make sure you guys all go down and listen to Michael um, later on today. It should be good. That'll be this evening. And so we'll take you to the, the end of the show here with uh, the quotes of our founders brought to you by Bitcoin Enterprises. If you love wealth better than liberty, the tranquility of servitude better than the animating contest of freedom, go from us in peace. We ask not your counsels or your arms, crouch down and lick the hands which feed you. May your chains set lightly upon you and